Hi again. In the Road to Victory videos that I've been making for you, I often mention the Magnetism Association or the Personal Magnetism Home Study Course on All Human Abilities, but I realize I really haven't explained very much about it to you, so I'd like to, to do that right now through a uh, cassette tape that I found made in 1984 which gives an idea of what a home meeting is a home meeting of the IM which is the International Association of Magnetists and uh, you'll have an idea about that and then if you decide you want to join the organization and you want to uh, study the weekly lessons just go to my website which is listed there somewhere in the explanation or in the titles and um, go ahead and do so. Uh, one thing I need to tell you, the hostess in this tape that you're about to listen to uh, calls me Gil Magnu de Jesu. Okay, I don't use the Jesu anymore. That was years ago. I now just simply use Gil Magno. And also she mentions the name of the course as the personal magnetism home study course on all human powers it is no longer human powers it's uh, all, uh, all abilities the personal magnetism home study course on all the human abilities so listen to this and then uh, on the second part the video you will be hearing the tape which I made that was in 1982 however she played plays it during the meeting and uh, there are some th interesting things there that I think you could make use of. Okay, listen and enjoy. And let me know what you think. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. In this meeting for the first time, my name is Mary Blackwell, and I want to welcome you to my home. All you other members are welcome also, and I'm glad to see so many tonight. As is customary in my meetings of the People's Magnetism Club of America, the first half of the meeting is directed to those of you who are not yet members. Then the second half is for members only, and we discuss the principles of magnetism in the Personal Magnetism Home Study Course on All Human <coughs> Powers. We also do some of the exercises and experiments, and we <coughs> motivate each other to achieve personal success in life. The People's Magnetism Club of America is exactly that, the people. It has no officers, no leaders, no buildings, and no charter. Any member can form his or her own club in his home. Mr. Gil Magno de Jesse, his founder, felt that it should be a non-organization to prevent the usual intrigues, bickerings, and power plays that usually take place in organized structures of self-betterment organizations. Any person can become a member by simply becoming a student of the Personal Magnetism Home Study <coughs> Course on All Human Powers. We'll hear more about this in the tape that we're going to play in a few minutes. Any member can also start his own club in his own home. The purpose of the club is to bring back to America the old values of home gatherings for study, personal development, friendship, financial success, just people helping each other grow through the principles we learn on the magnetism, on the, excuse me, personal magnetism home study course on all human powers. Naturally, we're only interested in people who are positive and constructive, but this is no problem because any person who's destructive or <coughs> necessarily selfish wouldn't even get past volume one of the course. He would automatically disqualify himself or herself. The course is of such a nature that only those who are ready for this kind of training would, would really appreciate it. I'm going to play a tape of a talk that Mr. DeGesso made some time ago. It's called Personal Magnetism, Creating a Successful Life in a Confused World. But before I do, I'd like to tell you something about this man who's undergone many personal privations in the past seven years in order to compile, revise, and expand this wonderful and unusual course that has changed the lives of so many people from a drifting life to one of success and ac accomplishment. Gil Magno de Gesù is a very sincere and active man who tells it like it is and who never lets his ego stand in the way 
of what's right about Gil de Gesso. He's had a multivariate career that has brought him in contact with all levels of people. He noticed early in life that there is a common thread interweaving all humanity. That thread is the fact that the difference between humans is one of interpretation. In other words, our main differences are due to how we interpret that which we claim to see. Interpretation, good or evil, is based on the degree of knowledge and understanding. The more knowledge and, un and understanding, the more positive communication. The more positive communication, the less manifested differences and therefore unification. Mr. DeGesso, basic, Mr. DeGesso's basic purpose then has become the alignment, integration, and the conveying of knowledge through the profession of teaching. He was born in Madeira Island off the coast of Portugal and came to the U.S. as a child. During junior and senior high schools, his main activities were in music, gymnastic, and nature. While in high school, he read Claude, Claude Bristol's the magic of believing, which seems to have brought to life his doormat, doormat inclination toward matters dealing with the mind and metaphysics. He graduated from the Boston Conservatory of Music with a Bachelor or Arts degree in education. In between his music studies, he noticed more and more his inclination toward philosophies of life, and many a time, instead of doing his music homework, he would find himself in the rare book department of the Boston Public library studying old volumes on character development, philosophy, and general personal advancement. In high school, he started playing the bassoon and taught himself the saxophone. While still in college, he became a bassoonist with the Rhode Island Philharmonic for three years and played with many community orchestras in the greater Boston area. After graduation, he received a contract to play with the Birmingham Symphony and to teach in the public schools in Alabama where he worked for three years. He practically introduced the study of classical guitar in Birmingham, formed the Birmingham Society of Classical Guitar, and it was here that he was fortunate enough to have a lengthy interview with Maestro Andre Segovia. He was so moved by this experience come in, come in. that he gave up everything to be professional only with guitar. He studied with Sophocles Pappas in Washington, D.C. by recommendation of Segovia. He taught guitar at the prep department of the University of Alabama and the New England Conservatory. His time outside of music was devoted to the study of philosophy, mysticism, metaphysics, and self-improvement methods. He joined several philosophical and or religious bodies and reached a high degree in at least two of them. Upon establishing residence in Massachusetts, he formed the Boston Guitar Circle Incorporated, the Portuguese Spanish Folk Song Society, and the Magnoir Guitar Symphonet, which was to be the only community guitar orchestra on the East Coast. He also studied conducting with Atilio Poto and attended a master class with the great conductor Pierre Monteau. In 1970, he came across <coughs> the forgotten works of Webster Edgeley on personal magnetism and found in them the correct balance between philosophy and practicality. The more he studied, studied edgily, the more he felt compelled to renew, revise, and teach his works. These works are now called the Personal Magnetism Home Study Course on All Human Powers. Mr. Digesto calls himself a born teacher and believes in the mastery of life through education of the true values of life that are practical as well as inspiring. In 1976, he gave up his studio and store in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and left for Florida with nothing but the clothes on his back, his music equipment, and a few books. There he lived for seven months in isolation in a section of an abandoned house surrounded by mango trees. Of this experience, he says, well, I really got to see that I was a good guy. I found out also that life can be really very easy. The only difficult part of life is having to live surrounded by beings who think life is very, very hard. <laughs>